over Allstead for this top four battle between Newcastle, who are on the up, and Tottenham Hotspur perhaps falling backwards. Both sides hope to respond to setbacks last week. Maybe Newcastle's were showing for some 18 months. Spurs' fast performance, uh, display of real anger at the end of it from their home support. Eddie Howe here wants the players of Newcastle to feel the force of the fans inside St James's Park. And will the vocal power of the Newcastle faithful carry them to where they want to be? Lee, not quite a shoot at this for Champions League football next year, but we're not far from it. No, exactly, and if the noise is anything to go by, then <laughs> it's 4-0 to Newcastle. Absolutely deafening in this ground at the moment. The music's just died down, but the fans are starting to uh, make the voices heard, and it's, uh, it should be a good game, this. It should be a really good game. If uh, Speculation about what sort of system they were going to play. They lined up as a four at the back, with Perisic playing as a, a left-back and Porro as a right-back. Right, they were warming up with Saar just in front of the two centre-backs. An interesting change from Spurs in what's a make-or-break week for their football club. But Newcastle with the first attack. Here's Joel Vincent. It's a wonderful run! Oh, and a chance here! And put away! What a start for Newcastle! Jacob Murphy! Well, Newcastle are the coming force. And you can hear the tsunami all over Europe. What a noise. And what a start. Well, you could have had ten at the back. If you don't make any tackles, you let players run with the ball. Joe Linton on the inside left position just keeps going. No one engages him. There's a little overlap on the outside of him. Isaac, and as, as, as he comes into the box, he gets his shot away. It's a good hand from Lloris, but it's right in the back of Murphy, who follows in in that left-back position we were talking about before the game. Perisic it is, who's just standing still. He's not aware of what's behind him, and you have to be if you're a full-back. It's a good finish. Roof of the net. What a start. Look at the emotion. Hear the emotion, too. The boyhood Newcastle fan, Jacob Murphy. A sensational way to get this game underway for the home side here. And Spurs have to chase it right from the first minute. Here's skip for Tottenham Hotspur. Shell shot Tottenham Hotspur. Well, there's one thing you want, you want to do when you come to a place like this is keep the crowd quiet. You don't give them anything, you stay nice and tight as a back four or a defence. And on that occasion, I think it was Willock who made the overlap around Joe Linton. It just gave him that extra space to go into the box, unchallenged. And when he got his shot away, Perisic left back asleep. Straight into the path of Murphy and he just lifts it above... Larissa who's trying to get off the ground. Some of Corby's the biggest game in Newcastle season. Perhaps the same goes for Spurs. And Spurs with this ragged beginning. Isak, the holder play by him. Here's Murphy, it's Isak. They're in again here. Isak going on. Block was by Dyer. Newcastle corner. And he's that playing cheerleader too. Well, once the ball goes into the box, it's difficult to make a challenge. Romero on that occasion can't do so, but the ball into the box, too easy. Isak just wandering through players. It's desperation from the blue shirts of Tottenham. These fans require no extra G'ing up. Trippier with the corner. It's a tax. By both Scher and Botman. Kept alive by Bruno Guimaraes. Not by Romero, but not too convincingly. 
the one by Fabian Scher. Well, Newcastle's home form so formidable. And no surprise given this backing. Just the one defeat here all campaign. Turned away by Dyer there for Spurs, who just cannot get out. Dan Byrne finds Trippier. Challenge there by Som. Long ball here towards Joel Vinton. He's in behind Joel Vinton. Beyond the race, it's 2-0. Dreamland for the two army. Two goals in the first five minutes. Tottenham being torn apart. And Newcastle are absolutely flying. Well, let's give credit where credit's due. What a start from Newcastle. We'll get to the defending in a minute. You've got to make runs. You've got to put defences under pressure. But the ball goes back. The Tottenham line come up. And he just bends his run. Porro, no clue what's behind him. Romero, no clue what's behind him, and he takes it brilliantly well. Cher, what a ball. Pin. Perfect for him, but this takes it round Lloris as if he's not there. The touch is absolutely sublime. That sets the goal up. Keeper comes flying out. Again, you look at the back line. You have to follow runners. You have to be aware of what's around you. Porro, no clue what's going on the inside of him. Romero, no clue what's behind him either. It's a dream start for Newcastle. And here they come again. Joel Vincent. Tottenham on the ropes here. Porro being pushed back. And every Newcastle fan around us up on their feet, punching the air. This is a football club going places, and we're seeing that with what these players are producing in this blistering start here today. Joe with it now. Joel Vincent. When these clubs last met here 18 months ago, it was the first match of Newcastle's new era. First game under their new owners. That match they went in front inside two minutes through Callum Wilson. Spurs came back to win the game, though, 3-2. Can't see Spurs coming back here the way they've begun this one. It was a giveaway by Trippier, and now Tottenham with the first chance, really, to commit some players forward. Here's Kane. Now Kudusevsky. Space Tottenham just to pass the ball around and get the breath back. And they need a bit of organization and they need a bit of fight. Newcastle are winning every, every ball. Murphy! Oh, what a goal! Even Jacob Murphy can't believe it. It gets better and better for Newcastle United. Three goals inside the first nine minutes. Absolutely astonishing. Well, I literally can't believe what I'm seeing. Giving the ball away in midfield, but the snap from Newcastle is there. The fight from Tottenham isn't passive, to say the least. As soon as they win the ball back, can they put a ball behind the back line? Can they get a shot away? Can they get a cross in? There's the winning the ball back, it just gets it out of his feet, no-one goes anywhere near him. Saar has to go for the ball. That's your job, holding midfield play, press the ball now. Lloris doesn't even dive, he has a little look at it, it's too late, it's in the net. Astonishing start. Beautifully struck, but surely Lloris, it's not that far away from him. 
the whole of the Tottenham side is falling apart in front of our eyes. And what a picture. The joy there, etched on the face of Jacob Murphy. Two for him, three for Newcastle. Here's Murphy again, but this time an offside flag goes up. Well, what on earth can be going through the mind of Christian Stellini? Ryan Mason there, alongside him too. Uh, whatever changes Spurs have made for this game today. Well, he looks like he's caught in the headlights, he really does. Why did it go to a four? Well, you could have had six back there, it didn't make any difference. You have to have players who are willing to put the foot in, do their job defensively. Mark players, go with runners, none of that. He's sod on the burst. There's a flag up there against Ston anyway, bounced through to Nick Pope. I've just looked at the time, ten minutes have gone. And here's Murphy on a hat-trick now. Joel Vinton, Joe Wither. Newcastle fans have been pinching themselves around here. Skip with the challenge there. His start. It's only his second Premier League start. That pass was, goodness me, very nervy one. Just about found his goalkeeper. And all he can do is play it straight out. Well, I feel a little bit sorry for him because he's been asked to do a job in front of that. The two centre-backs that we saw him warming up for, none of that has happened. He's not got the ball off any of those defenders. All he's been doing is chasing shadows. And some senior players out there need to have a little word with themselves and get some organisation into this Tottenham side, and quickly. Trippier. Isak. Spurs aren't careful. This could be embarrassing. It's a bit heavy there for Bruno Guimaraes. Well, Hoy Bier, have a word. The an experienced player in that midfield. Skip's playing a little bit higher. He's gone alongside Saar, trying to help him out, but it's too little, too late. It's a long way from North London to the northeast of England. I wonder how long these Spurs fans will stay here. Well, I met quite a few of them on the way down in the uh, service station. They weren't particularly very nice to me, I have to say. <laughs> Maybe I'll get my own back on the way home. <laughs> well, they've had some more for the way days in recent times. They've given away points in stoppage time in their last two away matches at Southampton and Everton. They've given a three-goal head start here to Newcastle. But here's Skip looking for Kane! And that was not too far away. Chance to get one back. Well, Skip's just playing a little bit higher than the other two midfield players. On that occasion, it's a good running inside right. Big gap there for him. And the man of Kane's calibre would be very disappointed with that. It's inches wide. And that might have given him a little glimpse to get back into this game. He's got Pope interested, that shot, but it's just inches wide. But he should be, from his point of view, hitting the target there and scoring. Spurs' recent record here... A decent one. Five unbeaten in their last five matches at St James's Park, winning four of those games. Their last defeat was by five goals to one back in 2016. Reese was in goal that day. And Eddie Howe was so eager for his team to bounce back from that biggest defeat of their campaign so far last weekend at Villa Park. And they've done that. Skips intervention there for Spurs. It breaks the way of Kane. Trying to drive past Bruno Guimaraes. Skip. There's Botman. And Joel Vincent. And Trippier. And he spent four years as a Spurs player. Four years where they were a top four team on every occasion. And his last Spurs game was that Champions League final back in 2019. Yeah, he's really turned into a very, very top quality fullback. Trippier has learned the game. Watched him many times when he was at Burnley before he got his big move. And the experience of going to Spain as well has really turned him into uh, 
And the best ball backed around, very steady. Eddie has first bye here, and a bye that set the tone. Fine character. That's admired the recruitment of Newcastle over the past few transfer windows. And if they can get Champions League football, what that will do to attract more players here, higher caliber players here. They were setting the call, didn't they? I think they're ahead of schedule. I think Eddie Howe maybe had another year where he was trying to build this team to get to where they are now. But I mean, it's such it's always been a difficult place to come and play anyway because of this crowd. But the fact that they've got a team to watch now they can be proud of, and even Eddie Howe would have been surprised by this start. Isak. Carries the ball so well, the Isak. Such a tall player. And by Trippier, the Murphy. Bruno Guimaraes. Trippier took the low road and it goes behind for a corner. That's really good play from Newcastle. Very patient in their build-up. Passing between the lines, eventually trying to get the ball out wide. He's that lots of player, didn't he? Took a little while to settle in and a couple of injuries. But great feet. Trippier's ball. It's attacked by Botman. And then a swing from Byrne. He's son now. It's fine cover. Sven Botman back there for Newcastle. On. He's Oliver Skip. Could the same skip. The sun. That's a win. Would see them going to third place this evening. And put six points between themselves and Tottenham. Skip. Now Kudusevsky. Such a rampant start here from Newcastle United. Three goals inside nine minutes. It's taken a while, but Spurs with some composure now in the game, but they've given themselves a three-goal deficit to try and address. Borrow. Challenge there by Cher. Headed by Longstaff. Murphy. Unfortunately, they just stepped on the ball. The players really come of age, Jacob Murphy, late in his career. 28 now. His sixth year playing with Newcastle. It's his seventh successive start. The absence of some Maximan has given him the chance to become a, a feature in the team. On such a regular basis, he's seized that chance too. With it. Beautiful pass by Wurman. Isak in the clear. Chance for four. <laughs> Playing football out of this world. Newcastle United. What a pass by Wurman. The finish was precise for Misak. A day of days for Newcastle United. We've only played 19 minutes. It's Newcastle 4, Tottenham 0. Well, we could stay here all day and wait for the pass of the day. We've already seen it from Willock. They win the ball back in midfield again. Willock gets a ball to his feet, but he's already had a look. He's already had a look. What runners have I got ahead of me? And the pass with the outside of his right foot. Tottenham have got the ball. Now they've lost it. Willock, he's had a look. Now he can see Isak just on the shoulder. And he's away. Dyer doesn't know he's there. He can't catch up. And again, it's a sublime finish. The finishing has been outstanding, but that ball...
worth his wages this week. I was just going to say, they've gone nine minutes without conceding Tottenham. They're having a bit of a run, and then another one goes in. Isak's sixth goal in seven games. He has become such a hit. And Lee, you might be safe now when you go home later on, because the Spurs fans are way high to our left-hand side. They might have Some all gone by gone. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, what a... It's been, a, it's been breathtaking. They have been outstanding so far. Here they come again. Isak again! You just can't believe your eyes! Delirious scenes! Newcastle absolutely outstanding! Tottenham shambolic! If ever there was a symbolic day, a changing of the guard, this might be it! Well, again, it's a brilliant finish, but I, I cannot believe what I'm seeing from the Tottenham players. They're all looking round at each other. Get yourself in at half-time and look in the mirror. Some of the passive play out there and dangling of feet. They're not even looking. Quick free kick. Look how much space each Newcastle player's got. No one engaging anything. Runners, people letting runners go into space. It's just... This is one of the most awful performances from a team I've seen. All over the pitch, credit to Newcastle. They're running into green grass. There's not a blue shirt anywhere near them. When they are, they're just dangling a foot. And there you have it, the expression, I can't believe it, what's going on? Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.